Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Avenger 2, and I want to show you a cool technique using the Quantize tab, which we haven't really talked about too much. So let's go ahead and go to Initialize Preset, and here we go. We have a saw wave. So now if we go to Quantize, let's turn this guy on. Now, if we click this here, we have so many different scales to choose from down here. Now for this one, let's go for a minor. That's going to be kind of interesting. And so basically what happens, we play a key. And it's going to lock to those notes. So what's going to be interesting if we use an LFO to control this here. So let's go something kind of like this and let's see what happens once we give this some depth here. So that's kind of cool. But what's kind of interesting is that if we change the shape of the LFO and the speed, it can be a little bit cooler. So for this guy, let's maybe go to a sample and hold and then maybe slow this down a little bit. And we can introduce some glide as well. So we have that. Now we can get some unison here. Maybe go all the way to seven. Maybe two octaves as well. Add some refurb to this guy. And we can also add a little bit of some quantum effects. This is gonna be kind of cool as well. So we can go to our FX here and let's say for example, maybe we can do some panning here. Maybe do some random stuff like this here. And let's change the mode from forward to random. And it's already starting to kind of fill up the space. So let's maybe go and add EQ and maybe take out some of that mud. Maybe give a little bit of a high shelf. Okay, so now we're back in quantum. Now this is kind of cool. And maybe for the next one, we can go with something kind of like an octave that might be interesting. So maybe we can kind of put some of these up like that. And maybe we could also randomize this as well. That might be kind of interesting. change the speed see what that sounds like and we can also use the same LFO to kind of move the pan a little bit so maybe we can go like this here drag and drop the pan here and kind of just do something like that So we're getting this LFO, this random shape kind of driving a lot of different stuff. We have random here in our quantum effects for the uh, for the pan, also for the octave. And we can also do some interesting stuff as well. Maybe we can check out the stutter. I've always kind of liked that one as well. And also let's go to random as well. This brings it all down to zero. We'll kind of just pick a couple of these, nothing too crazy. And maybe for this guy, actually, now that I'm looking at this, let's go to our mod matrix. So we're here on the filter cutoff. So maybe I want to remove that one and go for another LFO. Same shape, same kind of concept here. Drag and drop this on the cutoff, but make this one unipolar. And let's see what we do here. Let's see what the speed would change, one over eight. That might be kind of cool as well. So we have something kind of like this. Now we can start adding a drum set like this or drum kit to this here. And maybe we can change the speed on a macro or something like that. That might be kind of cool. Let's do macro two because maybe I won't do that for the cutoff or yeah, let's do macro two for this guy and then maybe do something like that.
So we can maybe do something like that. That might be interesting. And then macro one, we can do the cutoff. And again, bring this down, bring this all the way up. So let's do speed for this guy and then cutoff for this one here. Maybe we can do some voicing as well. Maybe we can add a fit that might be kind of interesting. Let's see what happens here. That's kind of wild right there as well. And maybe for the first offset, I'll see if we bring it up uh, an octave here. And what if we added a mini chain as well? That one might be kind of cool. So sequence the bass drum. What's cool with this here as well, like you don't have to keep the full scale here. You can kind of just remove some other ones if you don't want those notes in there. That might be kind of interesting too. And then also you can change out the scale. So maybe for example, we can do like an acid one. might be kind of cool too. Uh, maybe a major scale. Depending on how you want to do that. And then maybe for something like this, I'd probably put these also on macros, maybe this guy and maybe our sub as well. But let's remove these for now. That would be kind of interesting as well. So it's kind of cool because you can say, maybe let's say your song is in G minor or G sharp minor, whatever scale and key it is. And then you just hit the root note for this and kind of pick the ones that you like for um, for this quantize here. And it's gonna sound good and it's gonna be random every single time, which is kind of a cool thing as well. Maybe we can do something kind of quick like this. So it's not so much in your face. Or if you want them to snap, you just bring down your glide. And then after the quantum, you can also delay that again to like really fill up the space. Yes, yeah, definitely pretty cool. Try out the quantize. There's a lot of cool stuff you can make with it. So. Yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something and we'll see you in the next video.